the producer, he's a photographer, he's a the <laughs> video and everything. And you're also into clothes now. I, I am, understand. yes, Tell yes. Tell us yeah. about that. We, we've got Marat Group Clothing, um, which we launched a couple of years ago. And um, yeah, it's, it started out as t-shirts and things mm. like that and just things for people to take away after a show. Um, developed into tracksuits. We've got mm. like brush cotton tracksuits and uh, hoodies and things like this. Um, yeah. The, the so clothes. where do you get time to do all these things, Mark? Listen, I had the ideas over the years. Mm. So really it's just about making it, you know, really? making it happen. Yeah, mm. that's it. Mm. So um, I've had years of, of, of training and planning, you mm. know, things like mm. that. So, but uh, yeah. So what else do you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the photography started out as a hobby, you mm. know, but, um, you know, I realised that I've got an eye for it. I've been told I've got an eye for it. So, yeah, it's something that I do. But, um it is, it is mostly music, mm. music and lifestyle. So, I, I, you know, clothes, um, fashion, music, it all fall, falls under lifestyle. Mm. So Marat Group, which is my, my company, mm. is a lifestyle brand. Mm. You know, so all of these things fall under that. So, mm. so uh, <laughs> do, do you, uh, from, what, from listening to you, what I gather, that you also help young, young people yeah. come into your studio and yeah. make music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my, my daughter, Zara, who's with me right now, mm. She's, she's, no, like she's that, beautiful, right. beautiful singer, yeah. beautiful voice, really? you know, okay. I'm telling you, and she's, she's really good, she's actually recording, mm. uh, filming right now, mm. Mm. Uh, she's good with a camera, so I'm just encouraging her in that area. My son Solomon, he, he, is, he loves to singing as well, mm. he's four years old, but he always picks up a mic and sings and is confident, you know, so I just want to encourage them, mm. and then for me, it's just nice to see them express themselves, you know, rather than just... You know, because like with me, I'm not saying I didn't have the help from mm. my family, but they didn't have the resources, it, right? A, a, as many, you know, as, mm. as what I've got right now. So it's nice to just be able to give that to my kids as well. Mm. You know, so, so how do you see the future? Uh, you know, from from where I'm sitting, the future looks right, but looks bright. But what about you? How do you feel in yourself? Well, I I feel that like right now I'm doing what I want to do, and and it's like um, I've I've worked I've done a lot of jobs, different jobs that. I wasn't 100% happy and mm -hmm. you know so usually like you know if you're in a nine to five mm -hmm. and you're thinking you want to be somewhere else it's not a good thing <laughs> you know mm -hmm. and that's what's happened over the years so once I decided to put money that I raised or earned mm -hmm. into my own business straight away I started to feel good you know mm -hmm. and so on, yeah. you um what haven't what have you haven't had mm -hmm. so far that you'd have liked to have achieved so far by now um I didn't get on the property ladder early. Mm. <laughs> That's one thing, you know. Um, uh, hopefully within the next couple of years I'll have a couple of houses or something like that. But I didn't get into it early, mm. you know. And I know I know people that have got into it early and now they're doing really well, you know. They have rent out properties, things like that. But mm. as far as the music, I've been fortunate to be around musicians all my life. You know, I've grew, grown up in studios and things mm. like this, you know. So, um, and then my dad, my dad, he always played the guitar, piano, you know, so I grew up around mm. it. We had a piano in the house uh, when I was growing up as well, so. So what advice um, you would, would you give to young people listening to the program? And uh, they're out there thinking, Mark have done remarkably mm -hmm. well for himself so mm -hmm. far. Um, what advice would you pass on? I just think, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. You know, like, you know, if you, if you have a, a, an idea or a dream or, you know, if you if you look at another brand mm. like Nike mm. or Adidas or whatever it is, if you're a designer, musician, mm. whatever, and you have an idea, you follow it through. You never know; you could be as big as the biggest ones out there. Mm. So, yeah, just believe yeah. in yourself. Believe it's, ne it's never too late. This is it. Ne believe in yourself and just late. follow through. You know. Right. Yeah. And um, you ha you haven't ha so far have a really big hit. Is that something? Is that one of your major ambitions? Well, you know, to have a big hit? you know, it, it would always be nice. It would yeah. be nice to, 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 to have a hit like that. But I make music from the heart, you know, mm. so when like yourself, when you mm. say you like, mm. you, you listen to it and you like mm. it, that, that's, that's good for me, you know. Mm. It's always nice to get the, the material side of things as well, but to get people to appreciate your music. Mm. Because when it comes from, when I'm making it, it comes from me, you know, right. just, you know, feeling, mm. you know. So it's not the money is something that comes afterwards, really. But it's it nice. helps. It yeah. helps. Yeah. Do you, Do you write uh, do you, the songs or the lyrics that you you, you wrote? Mm -hmm. Is it Is it all about um, life experience? Um, some of it, mm -hmm. but then I've got songs which are like um, if you, I got a song called "Eye of the Tiger," mm -hmm. and it's like a, um, 
you know, like a James Bond movie. Okay. <laughs> so in, in, in the song, I'm kind of like an agent mm. and, I'm, and I, yeah, I've been asked to go on a mission. And so it's not really something that's happened, mm. but it's just entertainment as well, you know. Mm. So some of it is life experience. Some of it is, you know, I mean, I have uh, R&B songs where I'm singing about love and stuff like that as okay. well, you know, but mostly it's just how I feel, really, mm. you know. So when, uh, when does the people of Leicester have the pleasure of um, seeing you on stage? <clears throat> okay, the next the next one in Leicester is going to be on the 29th of March, mm. and I'm actually um, supporting Pharaoh Monk. He's coming from uh, America. Right. Is, a, is, is a, this at uh, Two Funk? This is it. Yeah, he's a well known well known rapper. I've been rapping for years, um, and yeah, so I'll be supporting him mm. as well as other artists as well. So. All right. Yeah. And what about other famous artists uh, that you have grown up with, and uh, you know, you know haven't got the pleasure of. Um, uh, meeting, uh, meeting up with them. Uh, would, would you like to perform on stage with some of these artists that that inspired you over the years? Yeah, I mean the thing is, I've I've been fortunate because I've I've performed with um, quite a few people. Uh, there's a guy called Ray Lewis. He used to be one of the lead singers of the Drifters. Mm -hmm. I think he joined in 1976. Um, yeah, I performed with him for a few years. Actually, I was actually in, in his group. Um, my brother Maestro. Mm. Um, he, he, he's performed with all kinds of people as well. So we've traveled, we've been international, you know. Um, we've been on the same stage as Janet Jackson, Boys oh, to Men, right. Boys to Men. Oh, they are awesome. Oh, yeah, I brilliant. Did, and did. nice guys as oh, well. Oh, man, we, I, we, I we, interviewed Boys to Men about four years ago. And the thing is, they're level, oh, very level people, level-headed. Awesome. I mean, we, 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 awesome. we spoke to them, and it was as if we knew them for years, mm. you know. Mm. And there was other people that was there at the time who from, you know, from America and mm. everything, who we couldn't even look at because they thought they were so good. <laughs> and then boys to men, brilliant singers, yeah. but they were so down to earth, you know. And that's mm. what I like, you know. Mm. I just want, I can only aspire to be like that, you know. Now tell it's us about the album. The album is out. Yes, yes. Okay, where, where can the, where can the listeners uh, get a copy of this one? Um, you could get it from uh, MarksTheFirst.com, uh, MarakGroupBrand.com. Mm. Um, you can download it from there, PayPal and everything, or Spotify. Um, iTunes, Napster, and there's a few others. Um, and then I've got hard copies for sale as well. So okay. if, you, if you contact me on the website, mm. www.merchthefirst.com, um, you can, yeah. And if um, any singers, um, very talented singer out there, think they, they can do, um, are in that position, uh, they have the talents, they, they have the ambition. To, They're welcome. To, they They're welcome them. at Marac okay. Studios. They're welcome at Marac Studios. 68 Humberston Gate. Leicester, LE1, mm. 3PL, and it's on the first floor, it's above a music college called Echo Factory, and uh, the, the phone number is 0800 002 5571. Okay, yeah. right, the, the, the next year, the last thing coming up, you, you don't know, tell us about that. You don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, a love, I wouldn't say love song, but, but it's, it's, it's directed at a, a woman mm. from a man. And he's basically saying that you don't know what you do to me, mm. you know. And the, the the thing is, it's not somebody that he's directly with, but he's just saying that even just the way you move yeah. and the way you look, you don't know what you do to me. It's that mm. kind of stuff, you know. So, okay. but it's yeah, like a like a, I would say love song, but it's R and B. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I know Freddie's out there listening. You want to say hello to Fred? Yes, he's Fred. Not, he's at home. Yes, Fred. Yeah, yeah. I like to I like to say a big thank you to Fred. Fred, mm. muy Jimmy. Um, Thanks for making calls for me and doing mm. doing a lot of the admin work. Um, he's been he's been a good guy to oh, me, right. you know? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and I appreciate it. Also, I appreciate you, sir. I I say, it's a pleasure. It's a <laughs> no, the pleasure. pleasure's all mine because no. you're a legend. You know, as far as <laughs> as far as Leicester goes, I mean, I know you you've interviewed Bob Marley, you've interviewed mm. some 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 big big mm. acts over mm. the years, mm. and it's a pleasure for me. Honestly, right. it's you a know, pleasure thank having you. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's thank a, it's you. a great sir. Thank and uh, Mark, all the best for the future. Thank you, sir. And uh, you know, just remember me when you get up. There. Of course, <laughs> hey, you're going to be there with me, won't you? And your lovely daughter Zara. Thank you. Yeah.